Sarah, and thank you for being here. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys what my bedtime routine looks like um, with a feeding tube and having chronic illness and also kind of showing Ollie's bedtime routine a little bit too. Um, I'm really tired already, um, but I have things I need to do, so yeah. Um, first step is I need to take my evening medications. Um, I have bedtime medications that I take right before bed, but these are my evening medications. And then um, I already am done with my feeding tube for now. Um, and then I will start them after, um, before I go to bed. But I do need to get in the shower. I look crazy because I need to take a shower. So I'm going to take a shower and then get the rest of my um, bedtime routine going and prepare for tomorrow because tomorrow I have IV hydration um, and that's about a good time infusion an infusion center that's like an hour away so I have to prepare for that and then prepare everything for Ollie tomorrow because he's coming with me so I will also be filming that if you want to see what that routine like that whole thing looks like with IV hydration but um yeah, this is my bedroom routine. So first, medications and shower. <laughs> Get my feeding tube all set up. Um, I'm gonna go pretty quickly, um, but if you want a video more in detail of everything that I use and like the whole setup in detail, comment below or give this video a like so I know what you would like to see. And if you have any ideas of future videos I can do, please also comment those below. So I'm going to access my feeding tube, get it all set up, because I'm exhausted and I'm ready for bed, so, um, yeah, this is what it looks like when, after I shower and, um, get everything set up for my feeds, so, I'm gonna go through it really quickly, um, but again, let me know if you want something more in detail.
to just go set up my feeds, which doesn't take uh, too long, but I'll show you what that looks like. Might zoom through it because I think a detailed video would be a little bit more helpful. Um, especially if you're a 2B as well, so let me know if you want to see that, but otherwise I can do other videos on it. Let me know. <laughs> joined me now he's happy i'm out of the shower he doesn't like being in there while i shower i think it gets too hot for him um because i take pretty hot showers which i know isn't the best thing but it's the only relief i get from joint pain so gotta weigh the risk and benefits with that but yeah i do use only the mighty well uh backpack um, and I do not use my IV pole in the house at all anymore. I only use the backpack, but I do hang it up on the IV pole until we can find a hook that I can put the backpack on. But I solely use the backpack now. Okay, step one get my feeding tube off. The IV pole still weighs a lot just because of the pump. If you don't know, I use the Kangaroo Joby. Um, let me see if I can give you a better angle. <laughs> Hi, um, I'm gonna show you as much as I can, but I will be doing <laughs> a future video on all of this if I decided that I need to, um, to go in depth of all of this, but I'm just kinda gonna zoom through setting up my backpack for the night because energy and spoons very low so I'm gonna zoom through this <laughs> setting up my feed so I'm just gonna take my nighttime medications um, give Ollie Bear so you can see him give Ollie Bear some cuddles and um, kind of do my best to prepare for tomorrow but I don't know that I have the spoons so I might just go to bed <laughs> um, but yeah this was my nighttime routine with chronic illness, having a feeding tube, it's a lot of work. I don't think people realize how much work having a feeding tube is, um, but it takes a lot and that doesn't mean I'm not thankful for it. I'm so grateful that I have a feeding tube that I'm able to get adequate nutrition. Um, yeah, and I, I'm just grateful for it, so don't get me wrong when I complain about it. It's just a lot of work. And I don't think people realize. They just kind of glamorize it. Um, but it's not as easy or as fun or anything else as you may think it is. It's actually really, really hard. It takes a lot of spoons. Um, and 
it's something that you can't just wait to the next day to do. You have to keep on top of it if you want to be, I don't know, healthy and not malnourished. So yeah, that's how I feel about it. But um, please comment below what videos you would like to see from us in the future. Um, I appreciate you being here. So thank you for being here. And I hope you have the a good rest of your morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are, um, whatever time you're watching this, and years from now even. I hope you have a good one, and thank you for being here. I appreciate it. Bye. Ollie has declared that it is bedtime, so... That's what we're gonna do. Good night, y'all.